My name is Joseph Jacob. I'm excited to welcome you to Mathematics Simplified. The aim of this video is to help you to understand mathematical operations. Many of us have come to the conclusion that mathematics is very difficult. Is mathematics difficult or is it that we are not being taught mathematics the right way? I think the latter is the case. So this video will help us to understand mathematics because mathematical operations will be explained in the simplest way possible. Perhaps you are very good at mathematics. Don't feel offended with the simplicity we use in explaining mathematical operations. The aim of this video at the end of the day is to help you to fall in love with mathematics and to realize that rather than being difficult, mathematics is very simple. Mathematics is enjoyable. Mathematics can be learned with fun. So our first operation for today will focus on simple equation. So roll up your sleeves, pick up your pen and paper, let's hit the ground running. Our first problem is 3x equal to 9. When you take a closer look, you will notice that there is no plus or minus sign between the 3 and the x. Since there is no plus or minus sign between the 3 and the x, it means that 3 is multiplying x. So in a layman understanding, what this question is all about is that 3 is multiplying a certain number. We don't know the number for now, so we just refer to the number as x. And when 3 multiply this x, the answer is 9. So what it means is that we are looking for a number. When you multiply it with 3, the answer will be 9. So when you do 3 times 1, it will give you 3. So x is not 1. When you do 3 times 2, it will give you 6, not 9. So x is not 2. When you do 3 times 3, it will give you 9. So it means that this x is 3. That is the layman's way of finding what x is. But let's find x in a mathematical way. What you need to do is to divide both sides with 3. Now, there are some questions that will come to your mind. When I say both sides, I am referring to the both sides of the equality sign. This side is the right-hand side. This side is the left-hand side. So when I say divide both sides, I'm referring to 3x and 9. So both 3x and 9 will be divided with 3. Now the question is, why am I dividing both sides with 3? And how do I come to know that 3 is the right number to use to divide both sides? Why won't I divide both sides with 4, with 5, with 6, or even with 9? Now, the reason why I'm using 3 to divide both sides is because of this 3x. Our video on mathematical terms, which I dropped at the comment section of this video, you realize that this 3 is called coefficient of x. Now, because the coefficient of x is 3, that is why I will divide both sides with 3. So if the coefficient of x is 4, I will divide both sides with 4. If the coefficient of x is 6, I will divide both sides with 6. Now, why must I divide both sides with 3? Now look at what will happen. When I do 3x all over 3 equal to 9 over 3, I'm dividing both sides with 3. The implication will be 
that I can now divide this tree with this tree. When this tree divide this tree, the implication will leave me with only x. When three divides three, I'm left with only one x. And normally in mathematics, we don't write one x. We just write x. So x will now equal to nine over three. You know in mathematics, when we write something like nine over three, we are saying that three is dividing nine, isn't it? So when three divides nine, it will leave us with three. So x is equal to three. Let's go through it again so that you'll understand what we've just done. The original question is 3x equal to 9. We now notice that there is no plus sign between the 3 and the x. What it means is that 3 is not being added to x. 3 is not subtracting x. So 3 is multiplying x. And when 3 multiplies x, the answer is 9. So we are trying to find out what x is. The first thing we did was to divide both sides of the equation with 3 because 3 is the coefficient of x. So when 3x divided by 3, 3 will cancel out 3, will be left with only x. So when 3, in the, on the right hand side, when 3 divide 9, the answer is also 3. So that is how the answer becomes 3. And when 3 times 3, the answer will be 9. So we are correct. X is equal to 3. Our next problem is 7y equal to 28. From this question, what is the coefficient of y? I know that by now, you'll say it's 7. You are right. So 7 is the coefficient of y. What we need to do now is to divide 7y with 7, that is the left-hand side of the equation, and also divide 28 by 7, that is the right-hand side of the equation. So let's do just that. 7y over 7 equal to 28 over 7. Remember why we are using 7 to divide both sides? It's because 7 is the coefficient of the y. And when we do that, it will help us to achieve something very important. 7 cancels out 7. So that we we'll have y alone equal to 28 over 7. So the next thing we need to do is to divide 7 is to divide 28 with 7. And when you do that, 7 into 7 will give us 1. 7 into 28 will give us 4. So the implication now is that y is equal to 4 as the answer. I hope you are following. Let's proceed to our third problem. Our third problem is 2v equal to 10. The coefficient of v in this question is 2. So what we need to do is to use these two to divide the left hand side and use 2 to divide the right hand side. And when we do that, we will have 2v over 2 equal to 10 over 2. So the next step will be to cancel out these two, two cancels two, it will leave us with v equal to two into two is one, two divide ten is five. So two divide ten will give us five. So v is now equal to five as the final answer. Remember what I did? Two v equal to ten is the question. Two v divide by two. 10 divided by 2. We are using 2 to divide both sides because the coefficient of v in this question is 2. 
So had it been, we had 3V, I would have divided both sides with 3. Had it been, we have 5V, I would have divided both sides with 5. But since we have 2 as the coefficient, that is why I divided both sides with 2, leaving me with V equal to 5 as the final answer. Our question number four is 11m equal to 55. You know what we need to do is to divide both sides with 11 because the coefficient of m is 11. So what we now have will be 11m all over 11 equal to 55 over 11. So what we have done is we are dividing both sides with 11. So when 11 divides 11, it will leave me with only m equal to 11 divides 55 will give me 5. So m is equal to 5 as the final answer. How is it going so far? I hope you are understanding every bit of the step we are taking in solving the previous four examples. Well, a famous Greek philosopher, Aristotle, once said, what we have to learn to do, we learn by doing. So, this is the time for you to learn by doing. So, you are going to solve the next problem. Just pause this video, solve the problem, and continue watching so we'll solve it together so you can compare what you got and what I got and see whether you are really following what we have done so far. Now is your time to try one of the exercises. Try this. 5t equal to 30. What you just need to do is to pause this video. Once you've paused the video, try to solve this problem. After solving, resume play so that we'll solve it together. How did it go? I hope it was very simple. Well, in case you find it challenging, don't bother. Let's do it together. 5t equal to 30. We're interested in 5t because from 5t, we'll get the coefficient of t, which is 5. So what we need to do is to divide both sides with the coefficient of t, which is 5. So we do 5t over 5 equal to 30 over 5. When we cancel out 5 divide 5, we are left with only t equal to 5 divide 30 will give us 6. So we are left with t equal to 6 as the final answer. I hope that is what you got. Fine. Clap for yourself. Let's take another exercise which we'll also try before we solve it together. Try this one as well. 2x equal to 9. Just pause your video and solve. After solving, resume the video. Let's do it together. How did it go? I hope you got the answer. Let's do it together now. 2 is the coefficient of x. So all I need to do is 2x over 2 equal to 9 over 2. 2 divide 2 will leave me with only x equal to 2 divide 9 will give me 4 and a half. If you don't want to express it as 4 and a half, you can also express it as 4.5. Both of them refers to 4 and a half. This is in mixed fraction form while this is in decimal form. So the answer is four and a half. Both forms are correct. 
This is where the cookies crumble on today's video. I hope you've learned one or two things in solving simple equations. Well, our next video, we still continue with simple equation, but we'll do something a bit more difficult. Did I say more difficult? Yes, we'll do something a bit more difficult, but you don't need to worry because just like we explained today's operations in a way that you understood and followed us, we are also going to solve our next higher simple equation problems in a simple way that you will understand as well. Until then, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Feel free to leave your comments as well. See you then. Bye-bye.